What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here. In this one, I'm going to be talking about the injury of Rod Moore, what it means for Michigan, who can step up, and why Michigan may not have to look in the transfer portal. Plus, we got some news on who's catching eyes at spring practice. Plus, a couple of Michigan players talk about their new position coaches in Mason Graham. Kenneth Grant denying the transfer portal rumors. Also, Michigan adding two assistant directors of recruiting. Plus, recruiting starting to heat up for Michigan. It's all going to be in this video and more, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first thing I did want to talk about is Michigan senior safety Rod Moore. As we all found out Monday night that Rod Moore suffered a torn ACL in practice and is now expected to miss most of the 2024 season, if not all of it. It was devastating news. Obviously, Rod Moore, you know, was going to be a leader on the defensive side of things. It also obviously sucks for him because, you know, he was a guy that passed up on the NFL draft, probably could have been, you know, a later round pick, but instead he decided to come back and run it back with this Michigan defense and this Michigan team. So hoping obviously for a fast, speedy, and full recovery for Rod Moore. A big time loss for the Michigan defense and it uh, obviously even sucks more with Keon Sab transferring out. Would have been nice now to, uh, you know, have him. But as you look at the death chart, Michigan, and they do have fifth year senior Makari Page back, who will be a third year starter. And uh, another guy who came back, which is really huge now, is sixth year senior Quinton Johnson. To look for a big year for him and obviously you know Michigan fans are going to expect Cheryl and Moore in Michigan to look into the portal potentially however there are still some up-and-coming underclassmen like sophomore Brandon Hillman he even tweeted on Twitter or X I guess uh, today and he said quote Michigan needs to add an impact defense back in the transfer portal basically saying no, not really, as uh, he seems to be up for the challenge and have a big year next year, potentially. Another guy is also the redshirt sophomore, Zeke Berry. So, you know, there's definitely still some depth at safety. It's not the end of the world, obviously, losing uh, Rod Moore. You know, it does suck, but we still got guys that are ready to make a name for themselves. I'm sure Wink Martindale is also really upset about the Rod Moore news. He was even praising him a couple weeks ago. He said that Rod Moore, he's the safety that is just, you know, smart-wise football knowledge wise he said he reminds him of eric weddle he said he's one of the smartest safeties he's ever coached so michigan will definitely be losing the football iq that rod moore has but again there are players like zeke barry brandon hillman ready to step up and again we also do have mccarty page and quentin johnson who i would think would start for Michigan now to open up the season unless you know Michigan goes out and gets somebody in the portal but now um, Makari Page did talk about coming back to Michigan in the Michigan defense with all the new coaches and everything as uh according to Clayton Safey of the Wolverine he said it's definitely different different coaches different people but it's still the same culture in the building as a defense and as a team overall he also said that it's going really well honestly guys are hungry still not complacent he said i feel like that's what we need as a defense to keep achieving what we need to achieve we want to be better than last year's defense so that's our goal right now he also talked about wink martindale he said he's a good coach great coach he's very smart he's also got a funny side to him he's very funny too and also lamar morgan the new defensive backs coach he said he's a cool guy a good coach he's a smart man honestly i can tell you that and i've learned a lot so far from him over these last couple weeks that's what he said i also did want to talk about a couple of offensive players that are standing out in spring practice right now according to chris ballots of the wolverine and two practice observers they said that alex orgy and davis warren have been the top two in the early going while Jaden denigale has work to do they also said that freshman Jaden davis has shown flashes and has definitely sparked the belief that he can be the guy down the road probably not this year but uh he's definitely impressing people which is really cool to hear he should be the next future michigan great quarterback he was a big time pickup 
uh, for Michigan. They also said that overall though about all the players, they're really responding well to new coach Sharon Moore and they really want to get him off on the right foot in his first year and set him up for success uh, in the future and they love him and are ready to play really hard for him. Now a couple of other Michigan players did speak to the media as well and obviously you know there were some transfer portal rumors about Mason Graham and Kenneth Grant potentially transferring, although that really never got any steam unless you were a rival fan that was pushing the narrative, but both Kenneth Grant and Mason Graham have already come out and denied it. Mason Graham said, I just think there's always going to be rumors, but Michigan is where I want to be. Michigan is where I've been the pa for the past two years. I'm comfortable here, and I want to stay with all the guys that we went through battles with. And Kenneth Grant also said that, you know, he wants to be here and stresses that the team brotherhood is really important to him here at Michigan. So no need to worry about those two transferring and really anybody on the defensive side this defense is going to be stellar again and really they you know they're gonna really lead and carry this team maybe early on as the offense you know begins to get in the groove of things but i know for sure this is going to be another stellar defense for michigan uh, michigan cornerback will johnson also spoke with the media in a press conference and talked about new defensive backs coach lamar morgan as well he said he's definitely a really smart guy you can tell he's coached a lot of football he's very genuine very open and he loves to work with us he's all about development and uh, that's been huge for the young guys so that it's really helped the guys like uh, sophomore cornerbacks jair hill and dj waller jr excel and take that next step he also talked about alex orgy as obviously he's seen Seems to be one of the favorites to win the starting job uh, but Johnson said I'd like to think that we've been getting after him every day at practice but I think he's been taking a step every day getting more comfortable every day so I think they're just getting used to it back there but he does look really talented really good and he's going to be ready for the season that's what Will Johnson had to say then I also wanted to talk about Michigan hiring uh, two assistant directors of recruiting to the staff It's obviously thrown more emphasized right when he got hired that he wanted to expand the recruiting department and he has been doing that with already some hires but he adds two more as according to matt zenitz of 24 7 sports michigan is hiring georgia's john collins as assistant director of recruiting as he has spent the last two years at georgia as a personnel and recruiting analyst michigan has also hired former player jack dunaway as an assistant director of recruiting as he played linebacker for michigan from 2016 to 2018 so uh, very cool there as Michigan Sharon Moore starting to add on to that recruiting department staff Let me know what you guys think about that and real quick here to close out the video I do want to talk about some recruiting news and first with running back recruiting Obviously Michigan just got Tony uh, Tony Elford as their new running backs coach But the running back recruiting has been heating up recently 2025 four-star running back Bo Jackson uh, has taken a visit we talked about uh, that in I believe it was our last Michigan football report video but also other running backs like Marquise Davis who just recently took a visit as well he's a 2025 four-star running back from the state of Ohio and also Jordan Davison from modern day high school in California he's also ranked as a four-star in the 2025 class he is set to take a visit soon and all these running backs seem to love Tony Elford and is really helping Michigan out making them a a favorite school for these running back targets and another guy in the 2025 class is the four-star defensive back Jaden Blair as he uh, recently took a visit as well to Michigan last week and he also got to talk to a new defensive backs coach Lamar Morgan and he is really making him a priority according to AJ Howland of the Wolverine this is a recruitment that Michigan uh, believes they can win he's also already set a return for an official visit in june so recruiting right now starting to heat up michigan is hosting multiple recruits here for spring visits and you know even though we are in a commitment drought we haven't had a commit in a while it still seems that you know this new coaching staff is really taking over and doing a nice job recruiting wise recruiting some top talent but uh with that that's gonna wrap up today's video hope you guys did enjoy if did make sure you guys go ahead drop a like comment down below and subscribe for more if you are new around here i greatly appreciate it but other than that we'll see you guys in the next video go blue